ABC Sports proudly presents Game 1 in our exclusive coverage of the Bowl Championship Series. The 86th Rose Bowl starts the Bowl Championship Series. Big Ten champion Wisconsin Badgers' second straight trip to Pasadena, led by their big running back who has won every prize possible and set a new rushing record for college football, Ron Dane. 35-30, Dane down the 20. Pac-10 champion Stanford rebounded from a crushing loss at the start of the season. But they've been dealt a blow by fate. All-American wide receiver Troy Walters dislocating his right wrist. An injury that jarred the team to the core. I'm sick to my stomach. There's always that emotional scar when one of your best players falls down. I want to win this game for Troy. The supersonic one, limited if not parked. But there are others in the Stanford Air Group ready to fly in the Rose Bowl, presented by AT&T. This is the 86th playing of the Rose Bowl game, the 54th time the Big Ten Pac-10 champions have met. And this first game in the new century matches the Stanford Cardinal and the Wisconsin Badgers. Vitaly Pizetsky kicks off for Wisconsin. Stanford won the toss. They want the ball. The kick is in the air and short at the 10 to Ryan Wells, who comes up the middle to about the 25. He didn't drop the ball, Keith. All right, here we go to the air, right out of the box. It is Dermani Fitz getting up to the 30-yard line. Stanford Cardinal up front, anchored by number 73, Mike McLaughlin. Sorenee and all making his 46th consecutive start. This group allowed only 15 sacks. Wide receivers, the uh, Troy Walter story you know about by now. And uh, the other people up there, uh, Durante Pitts, Russell Stewart, and later in the day, Dave Davis, they're good. Todd Husak, of course, is the man pulling the trigger and very important in the whole scheme of things. They'll go over the running play, and it's going to work for a first down. They're very close to it. Wisconsin defense along the front, number 77, Wendell Bryant, very good sophomore. Big game here last year. The officials are going to measure, apparently, as they've stopped the clock. The linebacking core for Wisconsin, number 16, Chris Godozzi, leads the team in tackles. Number 19, Roger Knight, is a tough blitzer in the defensive secondary. Number two, cornerback Jamar Fletcher has led the Big Ten in interceptions in successive seasons. And the ball is on the 35-yard line, first down for the Stanford Cardinal, wearing the white uniform. Husak back, passes away in a hurry. Ball is off the hands, and it's second down and 10. This is Brian Allen losing his balance on uh, some contact on third down and eight. And Todd Husak has changed the play at the line of scrimmage. Drops back and throws the ball. is batted up in the air. Right there, show you why. The flag is down. The kick is pretty good. Ball is downfield. That'll get a penalty flag because they didn't clear him for the uh, required two yards. Randy Fasani came down and hit him. The referee Illegal sort this formation. one out. On the kicking team, the flag for fair catch interference will be disregarded as the player was pushed into the receiving player. The punt is away. Not as good as the first one for the Wisconsin Badgers. Along the front, number 75, uh, Chris McIntosh, who's a mountain of a man at 6'7 and 3'10. He's where they go for the hard stuff. The wide receiver core, understated here. Number 88, Chris Chambers, very good. Backfield, the quarterback, Brooke Bollinger's uh, development this year has been a great asset for uh, Ron Dade. He took some of the pressure off Dane. But it's not a big guess as to who gets the ball it's really under the gun. The people in the front have a chore of considerable dimension. Willie Howard is at defensive end with that sore knee. The linebackers have got to be good today because you can't let Ron Dane get into the secondary. There's nobody back there except the strong safety Tim Smith big enough to take him on. Here's Bollinger on a rollout. The Cardinal defense in full pursuit. Now third down and uh, 13 in the air and long in 
incomplete. It's a good one. He's got a bit of a sore back much of the season. The kick is away. It's a high kick, and it's going to Durrani Pitts on a fair catch call. At first down for the Cardinal from their own 25-yard line. Husak turns and hands the ball off to Corey Wire, who's in at the tailback. Second down and seven for the Cardinal. Ball is handed off to Corey Wire again. Goes around the left side. He's a tough guy. And he's going to pick up about three yards. Third down and long three. Usak goes to the sideline. Pass is complete. To number 11, Joe Porchard comes into the ball game now at quarterback, and he basically is a single back on the first down snap with four or five wideouts on the field for this play. And Joe, the baseball player, punts it, takes off up the middle with it, and he's caught from behind. Wendell Bryant, second down and eight now. And Husak is back in there. And second. It's Bryant. Wendell Bryant. And it is third down and 14. Back down as the ball is thrown. He wasn't going to get the first down anyway. Fall start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains third down. Alabama and Michigan. Third down now. Usak with time and now is hit as he throws. Sandy, this long snapper, that ball is snapped high, but Topenrud gets it out. It's a good punt. Spinning and carrying. Time remaining, 8-13. Ball into turns and gives it to uh, Ron Dane. He's the single back. He's got the ball. They're slowing down behind the line of scrimmage. And they get him. Bollinger back. Hit behind the line of scrimmage, but gets away from that. And he's going to be knocked down just about. Pick up that yardage for the first down. The snap bounces back to the punter, but it's a beauty from Stepke running Durrani Pitts all the way back to the 11-yard line. Now he goes into motion. And the ball is handed off inside to Casey Moore, the fullback. Joe Borchard's back in at quarterback. Throws quickly to the sideline. Pass is caught, knocked loose, rolls out of bounds. They give him the catch. Third down and a long four now for Stanford. As Husak is back, gets it away quickly, and it is dropped. Now this is a good one to Tolkien Root, the punter. Roots it out of there, not a bad kick, but Wisconsin again is going to have pretty good field position. And they got a penalty play. Prior to the snap, false start, offense, five-yard penalty, remains first down. Bollinger sets under. Watch it now, watch it now. Gives to Dane. A little move left, a little move right. They call it 12. Bollinger, a little roll, a little play action, now steps away with the suit. White shirts are everywhere, and he'll get it back to the 35-yard line. Three wide outs at the bottom of the picture. Chris Chambers is the man moving number 88. Bollinger getting a little heat, now pulls it in and takes off. He's past the line of scrimmage, and he's taken down in Wisconsin. Stemp get a punt. Gets it out. Ooh, that's a beauty. The Roddy Pitt circles under it and lets it go. Mistake. Actually didn't make that much difference. Out of the end zone now, Stanford. In a bit of a pickle here as the big Wisconsin defensive units. You give them the ball on the 35-yard line all day, you're going to get beat. Ball is up the middle. He's got a man. It's Troy Walters. First down. Busek. Balls away. That's good for a first down. Complete to Dave Davis. Given to Carter. Behind Todd Husak. Husak still got it. Gets his pass away. It's caught. Casey Moore out of the backfield. And first down, Stanford. Ryan Allen. Backfield. Usak rolls out, throws the ball to Durrani Pitts, and Durrani Pitts picks up about 11. ABC Sports presentation of the Rose Bowl, presented by AT&T, returns after this message and the word from our ABC station. Willie Howard and Troy Walters. 
Busek quickly goes out of bounds. Second down and ten. This is Brian Allen. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. Good play by Roger Knight. Busek gives it to Brian Allen. And Allen breaks it down close to the 11-yard line. They're going to spot the football just inside the 19. It'll be a 28-yard field goal try. Gabriel's the snapper, remember. He didn't get it up very well, but he got the kick away, and he made it. Woo! I, I'm not sure I'd want to be holding that one because Maselli was going to kick that ball. It didn't make any difference. And your starting quarterback is the one trying to hold that hot snap. But it works, and Stanford leads. Handled it well, though, and Maselli just nailed it. Here's the kickoff by Maselli, driving it all the way into the end zone. Wow, four yards deep. Nick Davis is coming out. Runs into his own man. That slows him down, and he'll go down. At about the 15-yard line, trailing three to nothing. Starting from the 15-yard line, Dean bounces outside, finds daylight. Big run by Ron, and he's up to about the 35-yard line. Initial first down for the Wisconsin Badgers. Now we're going back to the kind of football game. Moves, of course, is that big fella on the 75 McIntosh. This is the quarterback draw they were trying to run there, and Stanford didn't buy it. Third down, six. Bollinger looks to the left side, gets his man, completes it to Chris Chambers. That's Dane to the 50. Pick up of two. Michael Bennett is a burner out of Milwaukee. Bollinger back, going deep down the middle. He's got Chambers, and he makes the catch. First down, Wisconsin inside the Stanford 15-yard line. He got away from Reuben Carter. For the Badgers, their first threat of the ball game. Give it to Ron Bain, and he'll get out just without the line of scrimmage. Bollinger gives to Dane. Penalty flag on the field. Stockbauer, the first man to get a hold of Dane. It's against Wisconsin. Ball is on the 14 yard line. Wisconsin trying to keep it going and grab the lead. Bollinger's pass is thrown incomplete. 31-yard field goal try now from Vitaly Pizetsky, who came from the Soviet Union to a football career at Wisconsin. Kick is up, a lot of leg on it, and it's good. And at 9 minutes and 19 seconds to play in the first half, we're even at 3. January. High, long kick. Back to the seven-yard line. The return to Ryan Wells. And Alabama spent a lot of time in Pasadena back in the eighth day. Good play by the Wisconsin defender. Hands it off inside. Goes to Coy Wire. We got Walters and Pitts now as the wideouts. Pressure coming on Husek. The ball is away. Throw to Brian Allen. And there's a very decisive tackle by Jason Doring. And he did a great job. Hunt is away by Tolpin Rood. Gets it up. Gets it to turnover. Pretty good kick. Fair catch to Nick Davis. And here they come now. Brooks Bollinger sets him down. Dane's the deep man. Ron Dane has the ball. He's running behind Chad Coon. And Coons leads him back in New York. Was happy to get back to practice. He said. That's up to the 40 and across it. And that's a first down. Now Dane is out. And Michael Bennett is into the ball game. The ball is at the 41-yard line where it's first down. And Bollinger runs away from the pressure, gets it off downfield. He's got a man wide open. Bennett missed the ball. Ah, it's against Wisconsin. And has the ball. And does not get to the line of scrimmage, but Payne is out. Daniels is in. Carlo Daniels. Bollinger rolls it out, pressure coming. Going to be, gets the ball away and throws it into the crowd. It is third down and 36. And Carlos Daniels, Carlos is to the outside. Michael Bennett, 29, is punted. No pressure on Stepford. Liner, Pitts might have a little room, bobbled it though, and uh, well, he's still working at it. 
puts the ball back on the Wisconsin side of the field. 5-30 Pacific, part of the whole championship series. Kerry Carter is in the backfield. Husak keeps the ball and will run it. And will pick up about eight yards. He was knocked out of bounds. Flying, watch Husak. He's looking for that first down marker. Decides to go out of bounds. That's a good call by the official. Sanford threatening again. Usak back down the middle it goes and it's caught by Walters <laughs> and Joe Fortridge in it quarterback and he turns and gives the ball to Kerry Carter the big back and Carter but now and Fortridge keeps it throws it into the end zone and throws it away in the end zone holding on defense. the defense penalty is half the distance to the goal automatic first down heady shot is going down the back of the end zone get the flag Orchard keeps it, turns inside. Close. Orchard to the fullback, and that won't get it. And it's third down and goal from the one. Carter. He made it. Touchdown, Stanford. Bounced off the first hit by Thompson and slid into the end zone. And he had a lead blocker in front of him. And I think that, along with that big size you talked about, Keith, is why he gets into the end zone. Snapping troubles. Mike McLaughlin, the John Sandy, who is the snapper, Stanford leads it 9 3. For the BCS National Championship game. Low driving kickoff. Bobbled around in the end zone, and Nick Davis with Pasadena. And on the first down snap, Bollinger runs away from the pressure, trying to get to the outside. Got one good block, and now he gets to the sideline. Passes to the sidelines, and good to Chris Chambers for a first down. There he is. Yep. On first down, Bollinger. Lee's after him, runs away from him and throws. It's out of bounds. Second down and 10. Going big, down the middle. It's incomplete, intended for Davis. I should say, three Rose Bowls in a tick. Bollinger back, looking deep, going deep, down the sidelines, and Chambers can't track it down. He can kill it sometimes, so let's see here. Well, Dips will take a shot at it. He runs right into a Wisconsin man at 34. And they go out of the shotgun. Usak's pass run quickly to Dave Davis. Another entrepreneur from Stone. And second down and seven. A lot of those guys around, I'll tell you. That's good for a first down and then some. Durrani picks. And Pitts will take him down to about the 41-42 yard line. Holding on the offense. Second down and 17 now. Husak turns and hands the ball away. And there's a further loss on the play. 21-yard line, third down and 20. 16 ticks remaining on the clock. They'll take this snap. Try to run it out. There's a penalty flag down as uh, Kerry Carter. By the defense, five-yard penalty. Repeat third down. And they're not going to have to because the clock continues to run, and it's over. The half is over, and Stanford leads Wisconsin by a score of 9-3 to three after the first half of play. Now let's go to John and Terry, New Orleans, for the National Car Rental Halftime Report. Vaselli kicking to Nick Davis and Michael Bennett. And the ball's in the air. It'll go three yards deep in the end zone. Davis will put it down. Missed extra points can be a load. Here comes the second half now with Ron Dane. That's a five-yard pickup. Bollinger gives the ball to Dane up the middle. He goes. He's loose. You do not want him in your secondary. They finally track him down and bring him down. Just short of the 10-yard line, Frank Primus ran him down. 64 yards and first down Badgers at the Stanford 11-yard line. Cues the fullback, gets a carry, 5-4. Second down, three from the four. 
25 second clock ticking along and Dane going to the outside to the corner touchdown Badgers Demetrius Brown threw a huge block to get him on the corner so Wisconsin comes out steaming with the big guy Wisconsin goes to the lead for the first time today, 10 to 9. And we've just started the second half of play. And then we'll kick it off here. Pazetsky hits it, gets some air under it, and it goes to Ryan Wells up around the eight yard line. Going to run a little reverse here. They got a block. It's Davis, and Dave Davis will get it up across the 25. Michigan going back to 1902. Here's a little delay, give it to Brian Allen. That's a mistake. The Badgers are hot right now. Right now, on second down and 15. Usak's pass to the sideline is good. And almost getting away is Tafiti Uso. Too bad. Stanford's had the injury both. But it's a first down up at the 49-yard line. This pass is thrown beyond for the touchdown uh, catch of the ball. <laughs> he probably won't. <laughs> Brian Allen's having a hard time. He just can't get on track. The Stanford ground game is they got eight people in the box. Usak back, has time, passes away, overthrows for Stanford. Anthony Gabriel snap this time is all right. Tolpen Roots kick pretty good. Fair catch called by Davis and Dane. Number 77, Willie Howard. Hollinger to throw it. Wide line pattern is good. He's dangerous too. See what happens. He's the single back. Comes back to throw it. Goes to the sideline. That is too high. And 10 to 9, Wisconsin leading. Third down and eight. Hollinger back. Chase out. Sack. The first contact, Sharkus Steen. Stepkis punt is away. Good one. High hanger. And Money Pitts has to make a fair catch. But here comes Stanford again now. Bit of a ragged uh, effort the last time. Husak back. Gets it away. And it's good. Dave Davis. Corey Wired is the deep back, gets the ball. Found a little bit of daylight. Play action. Husak buys time and goes deep, and there's nobody home. Gets it in there, look out, here it goes, down the middle of the field, it's to the five-yard line. They'll give him the sixth. They're Ronnie Pitts. Usak stands up and throws into the end zone, and uh, it is Tyrone Willingham from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Ball is handed off to the big back. And it's third and goal. Usak rolls out, throws, incomplete. The regular snapper. Usak, the quarterback, holds it. Oh, bad snap. Got off to the side. It's blocked. So Stanford squanders a glorious opportunity. Here come the Cardinal. Stanford shows blitz. And you get many penalties. Prior to the snap, false start, offense. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. Still first down. Oh, they go inside the five, turn around and give it to that 18 wheeler and it'll be nice get, to be get cramped in the cheeks. <laughs> look out, look out. Oh boy, he almost popped out of there. We come back to the Rose Bowl. Wisconsin third down and four. Quick pop to the sideline to Chris Chambers. And Chambers walking down the sideline, hits the chalk. There were two penalties on the play. Offsides on the defense. Illegal shift on the offense. Penalties offset. Repeat third down. On the throw. 
Same play. Same result. Chris Chambers. Dane. Bullback Hughes gets a little bit of a wedge for it. Bollinger option. Pitch it back behind Dane. He was able to control it. Bollinger. Looked like he wanted to take off on the quarterback draw. Now he's trying to outrun everybody and he can't do it. There's a penalty flag. These teams, so. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. Fourth down. Well spoken and a real pleasure to be around. Refusing the penalty brings up fourth down. Stimpke hits a high rainbow and uh, look at uh, Ronnie Fitch. Might as well get your money's worth Five and take a good shot. <laughs> he just went down. Shot. With a minute and 36 to go in the third quarter, a 10 to 9 lead for Wisconsin. Stanford ball their own 30. Usak gives it away inside. Nothing. Boy wire. That's not much. Second down 11. Usak looking. He has good protection. Puts air under the ball to the sideline. It's intercepted. Bobby Myers intercepts it. Pass there on the left in the Stanford Cardinal. And now they're saying no, no catch. Happy, but there's he's 53 yards away from it. He's out. Oh, I don't know, Keith. Let's see what hits first. Is it his knee? Is it his shoulder? It's his shoulder. Shoulder. Well, oh, that is a that tough call, but a good job by the officials good. getting together. What a catch. Terrific play. But his shoulder. So it'll be third down 11 as the ball comes back. Swing it out to the outside. Pass completed to Coy Wire. Wire's cracked down by the Badger Deer. As Tobin Rue gets a good snap from Gabriel back in there and hits a low line drive. There's room. There's one. Oh, Boy, that's good coverage downfield. Carlos Daniel, single back. Running to the left. Going down. In the arms of Stockbauer. So 10 to 9, Wisconsin leads after three quarters of play in the 86 Rose Bowl presented by AT&T. And we'll be back after this message and a word from our ABC station. Freshman, he showed up in the fourth quarter, ran for 75 yards. He looks to be the key man here. Well, Bollinger keeps that one and turns it upfield. Yep. Third down and a little more than five as Bollinger runs out of trouble and will pick up a first down and then some. He's got football speed. So from midfield, first down, drop back, looks to throw. Can't set his foot, can't find anybody. Now he's going to run around the crowd. Willie Howard's after him and a penalty flag goes down. Fine there. Two penalties during the play, holding on the offense. After the play was over, personal foul on the defense. That was a 10-yard penalty on Wisconsin, a 15-yard uh, penalty on Stanford, so it's first 10 and handed off to the big man and to year's national championship game. On second down and eight, Bollinger thrown down for a huge loss by Rial Johnson. They run the big bye. He bounces outside and gets some of it back. He moves the football back to the 50. That's Durante Pitts waiting for it. It's a high hanger. And a fair catch called by Pitts. Wisconsin leading 10 to 9. Offensives have not been able to get on Frank much. Danes had one big run of 64 yards. And Husak is hit as he throws the ball. I think it's it's great that he's been able to play and contribute and not just be out there for the heck of it. Uh, and uh, so third down now and 10 for Stanford. Wisconsin backs out. The linebackers drop. Pressure down he goes. Terrific play by Ben Herbert. To the end zone. Topin Rue. The snap gets it out. Wisconsin's going to get a real good field position here. It's going to be right about the 40-yard line. Playing Wisconsin football. Ron Dane. The soccer here as part of the Olympics. This is Dane again. Number 90. Third and two. Oh, is this a substantial play? Dane. 
Didn't get it. For this 2000 Rose Bowl game. Here comes fourth and two. Rolls it out. Throws the ball. It's caught. Almost dropped by John Sigmund. First down for the Badgers. Bollinger back. Wanted to go deep. Throws now. The pass is complete to Sigmund. He's got all that confidence. He dives for the goal line. And uh, they don't give him the touchdown. Here comes the, the hammer. Out at the one. Second down and goal from the one. Pretty good fight down along the trenches, but he's got his six. Get used to the name, folks, in the Big Ten, especially. It's Bollinger. Kim Rosga holds for Wisconsin. The kick is away and good. And so Stanford will get the ball back at 7.22 to play in the game. But now Wisconsin leads them 17 to 9. Rosetsky's kick. Good one. And the three. It's Ryan Wells. Ooh. With 7.13 to play. Walters is the man in motion. They run it. Pressure coming. Husak's in trouble. Now he gets a little daylight and throws the ball behind. But Wisconsin now is just breathing fire. They're all over. Gotta hold your breath when he's back there. If he has room, that ball won't get to him and it goes straight sideways and finally be put down at about the 47 48 yard line. Right. All handed to the big man and he's just, he's gonna beat on him now. He words for the Badgers. Hollinger gives it again to Ron Dane. Got his legs under him and just keeps on trucking. First down, Badgers. At it again. You see how quickly he he, he saw his hold. And her uh, economy size too. Here he goes again. Look at that. You don't get tokens for that free ride off. From the 23 now, Dane is out of the ball game, and Carlos Daniels is in. Uh, Chad Coons. Uh oh, did that ball come out? Gets the ball coming outside. Trying to add three with Vitaly Prasetsky. This might be enough. Low. Missed it. That snap was a little high. And Pitts. There's one. Ooh. Pretty good lick on Pitts. Second down and five. Out of the shotgun, Husak. Buying time out of the... Formation down the middle, big play. Point at the 45 yard line by Tafiti Uso. Heard in college football till they moved the chains and they chain was there's a penalty flag here. Look out for this one. That ball is caught. Ball game. Offsides on the defense. Penalty will be declined. First down. Pass quickly over the middle to Pitts and complete. Now you got flags, We're probably going to the cost snap, them five. Ball start, offense, five-yard penalty, remain second down. There's another break. That's it's two in a row for Schindler. A little trouble holding Prior their points. The snap, fall start on the offense, five-yard penalty, remain second down. Uh, Zach Quatcha has been the center. Usak running out of the pocket, dropped the ball, and Stanford covers it. Since then, straight backwards. Yep. And they've done most of it themselves. Yeah. Cusack rolls out to get time and throws complete. 
on the top of the screen right here. Yeah, he's away from Fletcher for the moment. Yep. Going that way, and he's hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Prior to the snap, delay a game on the offense. Five-yard penalty remains fourth down. Fourth down and 12. Nothing. Wisconsin just won the football game. 1-11 to go. Now all they've got to do is just run out the clock. Our years of being associated with Jack Trunks. Second down and four. That'll be a first down for the Wisconsin Badger. And we wish all of you a very good year in this new century. And Keith. And we're running down the clock. And uh, Happy New Year to you. It's been great working with you. Great to have you back. I know everybody around the country, around the world, just loves to hear the voice of college football. And I'm lucky enough to be up here standing well, next to you. Thank you, Dan. Bless your heart. I appreciate that. My, my pleasure. My pleasure indeed. As it continues to tick along. And now here's a point where it gets kind of dangerous for Barry Alvarez with all of the stuff going on on the field. You don't want to get too involved with it. 2 1. It's over. The Wisconsin Badgers win. 17 to 9. They are the first Big Ten team ever to win successive Rose Bowl games.